as you can see, that is in the cart for $14.99, which is the price. Because when I looked it up, uh, there was one that just sold for... where I'm at. It's not, it's not hard to guess. I'm at Goodwill. I am at my, what I call my home base Goodwill, where I always have fun. Just, I don't know. It's like, there's something more relaxing about being at the Goodwill that I spend the most time shopping in. And, um, so it's one of those evenings. I have worked really hard today and I thought I am going to go to a Goodwill where it's just a relaxing shopping trip and so that's where I'm at now I can't imagine that I am going to beat the finds that I found in yesterday's shopping trip which you may or may not have seen that video yesterday depending on the order of things <laughs> but oh man that was an amazing trip so if you haven't watched that video be sure you go back and check that one out but for now, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to go see what I can find. Let's go get shop done. All right. Let's go find our lucky card. I like to take one that has, yes, that. Let's do that. They are super busy today. So we're just going <laughs> to, that's pretty funny. Uh, we're just gonna peruse the shelves and hopefully not have too much noise in the background this time. Oh, it's not even in there. I was looking to see. And it was, but it's not in there. Sit down here and all around. Oh. I'm ready to be done shopping for Christmas stuff. I say that every year, pretty much. It's time. I've been doing this Christmas shopping thing for months. Oh, those are actually in there. Let's see. Oh, they're not. They are from Dillard's. They are Cordon Bleu. You know what? I am going to look up the reindeer plates. All right. Turns out these are a good find, so we're gonna pick them up. You know, a lot of people ask me, don't you open it up? Don't you wanna see that they're all there? I mean, I can pretty much tell that they're not broken, that they're in there. I can feel there's no space. I know they're all in there, so I will carefully heat this up so I don't tear it. I would rather just wait and do that than, you know, to kind of dig in there and see. How much are they? $4.99. Christmas plushies are Overflowing. Goodness. Really overflowing. All right, we're gonna skim right by there. I'm just not in the mood to dig through a bunch of plushies. I mean, you know, I'm taking a little peek at like this Dakin Chewy. It's $5.99. Hmm, 1983, he's vintage though. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look him up too. All right, we're gonna put him back. He sells for 18, 15 to 18 dollars with free shipping. Uh, so that's not enough to warrant paying six dollars to bring him home. All right, let's keep going. I'm in the process of putting away my Halloween stuff. So I'm taking a peek at these pumpkins to see if it's something that I can't live without. But it's, they're not very good quality. So I can live without them. Terracotta mini flower pots. What do you look like? I want to see. Oh man, am I gonna be able to do it one-handed? I'm not the first one to try to get into this and see. Yeah, they're not, they're not very exciting. So we can leave those. We can leave, this looks like it was not even a Scentsy. It's just a warmer. All right, let's see, Santa. Yeah, oh, those are pretty. What are these? I kind of like these. <laughs> I'm gonna 
come down here with them. They're very lightweight though. They're $4 each. I mean, I am like doing like this super decorating thing for the holidays, but yeah, I don't think I super duper love those enough to get those. So hopefully somebody else will pick them up and love them. Ooh, birthstone dragons. That feels awful light. Hmm. I think he's maybe not in there. <gasps> oh, he is in there. Let me check this out. Okay, look at this cute guy. I don't know which birthstone that represents, but he's really cool. Dragons are really, really popular, and he's $3.99. I'm gonna get him. Spend, save, give. These are awful little for that, though. They're from Target. I make my kids learn that. They can spend some, but they have to save some, and they have to give some. Just good budgeting life lessons. Certified International. That is really cute. I do like that. Mm, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it this time. I'm gonna see who makes the birdie. It's made in Japan. He is vintage. He's not great. He's not super, super high quality great. I see some Christmas. Garfield glasses. They are a dollar ninety-nine each. Yes, that was a clang. Um, see this 1978 United Feature Syndicate. That's the that's the date of the cartoon. That's not the date of the glass. Um, I like these, and I think somebody in my live sale will like these. Uh, so I'm gonna pick these up. What have we got? this thing here this is like a it's that thin tin wrapped over wood it's kind of cool oh he's pure one imports oh he's 7.99 darn i won't be selling that kind of stuff until we get through christmas so i'm gonna leave him who knows, he may still be here when I'm back to shopping for that kind of stuff. Ooh, little pineapple looking candle holders. There's $3 each though. Oh, is that Akama? Looks like Akama pottery. It's not signed, but it definitely has the look. Now I gotta figure out what this particular piece would have been for because there's a teeny, 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 tiny hole, as opposed to it, you know, having any kind of a place to put anything. So I'm gonna get that, and I am gonna figure that out because it's well done. Uh, it's a quality piece, and so it's a mystery for me. I need to figure out. So I'm noticing this bunny basket. I'm just gonna take a peek. Oh, he's really heavy. Yeah. He's it's just a made in China piece. I am starting to keep my eyes out for cool stuff for the spring because it's literally going to be here before we know it. So, gotta get ready. We've got collector plates galore. And little figurines. Some water globes. Gosh, this little bell is cute. It's made by Russ, Russ Berry. It's not a big. Ooh, I just heard her say something about a nativity set for $14.99. I think I need to go check that out. Look at this nice bunny. That one is Holland Floral. It's kind of nice. Ooh, I like this piece of glass for $4.99. Just a really nice decorative. Looks like something that could be like a Pier 1 or Crate and Barrel kind of design. So I'm going to pick that up. It's kind of this nice, heavy 
piece of glass. Oh, it's got its original stuff on it. I'm trying to read it. Circle, oh, it's circle glass, not, not very high end. So we will leave that. This one looks decent, but then I got my hands on it. It felt really new. All right, nothing exciting in the clear glass. Let's take a quick double peek. Nope, nothing I need. Okay, this is a little creepy. It's uh, Danger Runaway Zombie Bear by Big something, Big J, Big, I don't know. It was a Christmas present for someone. Interesting, not my thing though, just not my thing. So we will keep on looking. Or something that is my thing. You know, like a wooden doggy was probably a cutting board. Um, not super exciting. See what you are back here. You are a painted tile that is covered up. Uh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the cart. I'm kind of leaning toward yes, but I may change my mind, but I kind of like, I like the colors, so. Yeah, the price is right, you know. So, let's see. I usually find some pretty good stuff in the wood section at this store. We've got a wood carving. Yeah, not really thrilled with that one. It looks just like more contemporary, newer. Genuine imitation petroglyphs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Genuine imitation. I love that. Genuine imitation. Ooh, look at this cheesy guy. It's a mirror. It's kind of like. Kind of like the look of that for five bucks. But I'm trying to stay away from big stuff right now. I really, really am. That's, oh, that goes on these. You know, I'm going to look at these up because, as I recall, these Australian placemats and coasters can do pretty darn good. And these are in the original box. There are six of them, different designs. They're Jajaka? Jajaka? Turtle? Platypus? What else is in here? We got a shark. We've got a crocodile. Are they all ocean related or water related? And a guana. I was thinking, is there going to be a kangaroo? There's no kangaroo. So, let me take a peek at comps on this and see what they go for. Well, I am gonna go ahead and pick these up for $3.99, even though I couldn't find any recent sold comps. eBay's been a little wonky about showing those sold comps. So at only $3.99, I'm gonna take a chance on these. I don't think I can lose money. I got everything to gain. Uh, look at this cool wall hanging. This is very uh, cerebral. It's uh, Leonardo da Vinci's like famous um, sketches, I guess you would call them, all framed in this really nice thing. I wonder if Jordan would like that. It's like, kind of like how her brain works, but I don't see, oh, I don't see a price on it. I see the original price, I think over there, whatever that says, I think it came from Ikea. Price is probably on the other side. Let me take a peek. As you can see, that is in the cart for $14.99, which is the price. Because when I looked it up, uh, there was one that just sold for $300. This very, very same print. So, let's grab that. All right, we are now entering the metals. And uh, give me a J. Let's see what we can find in the metals today. Did really well in the metals yesterday. 
So I'm a little more intrigued on digging a little more than uh, I have in the past. Finding cool stuff will do that to you. It's cool. Not sure. I guess that's like a. Oh, it's over an over the door hanger. They've got a couple of those. Let's see. Cornucopia. Some big wall hangings. Oh, he's cool. It's broken. Darn. He's got a broken, broken top piece. <laughs> and I'm just not seeing anything today. Hi, we are in some more glass items. You know, you always find these silver banded bowls and they just they just don't do much. Which is Kind of unfortunate because they are pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna take a peek at these green glasses down here because there are several. Uh, looks like I'm looking to see first if they're flashed or if that's the actual color and I think I see some scratches on the green itself which is not a good sign for quality but then I might just be seeing things but they are three dollars each. So for that reason I will leave them, but what I do when I edit the video is I, you know, I research some of the stuff and I show you some of the comps, even if I didn't purchase it. And then if it's still here when I come back and I found out it's worth money, then I grab it up. These are, I don't know if you can see the little kitties on these. Pretty cute, but they're really, really hard to see. I wish they were a little bit more pronounced. I am looking for a maker's signature on the martini glasses, and there is not one. Yeah, we just got a lot of very common, everyday wine glasses and such. So nothing, nothing drawing me in there. I am gonna peek at these. All right. That reminds me of like the Carnival Cruise uh, logo. It's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong. Probably I'm wrong. But that's what it looks like to me. So we've got some very bright yellow glassware here. Not sure how I feel about it. Again, it's probably going to be one of those things I go home and look up and see what it is, because there's, there's only five of them. And then these are very vintage, but not a lot of resale value in some of this old colored glassware. So I generally don't pick it up. I am looking at the whatever Ikea thing this might be. Oh, it's Ikea glasses. I am, <laughs> gotta tell ya, uh, Jordan, that if you watch the channel, you know, my daughter Jordan and uh, she's got a viral TikTok video. Uh, it's it's hit like tens of thousands of views now about her trip to Ikea in her Mini Cooper and how much stuff she was able to get into it. I mean it's it had like 60,000 views this morning like within hours of her putting it up so I'm very proud of her. She's gone viral. And if anyone's asking, <laughs> she's J Weezy, J W E A Z Y on uh, TikTok. These are really pretty, and I wish, I wish there was more than one. Really wish there was more than one. Okay. It's not pumpkin spice season anymore. Pumpkin spice season, all gone. See if any of these might be like an anthropology brand. They are not. Uh, this is a little bit intriguing. Mesa International. I haven't seen a lot of that Mesa International lately. 
And what are these? Mid-winter stoneware. Kind of neat. But, oh, you got separated from your friends over here. Get over here. There you go. Yep. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's like children. They go out to play and then they don't get they don't get back where they're supposed to be. So let's get you over here. There we go. Much more likely to sell now. They have the vase shelves very, very stocked up today. So maybe we'll find a surprise in here. Oh, that I looked at that leaf bowl last time I was here. This looks like recycled glass. Probably is. And it's really pretty, but it's not something that I want to deal with right now for resale. <laughs> but I am going to look at these little tree guys. I'll leave them. I'll leave them. They're a little on the dirty side. This looks like it could be... It's not Raku. This is called burnished. It's um, made in Mexico. Not super high end. When I was in Tucson, it was super popular. Very Southwest decor oriented. But I'm thinking it's kind of faded in popularity. I like the shape of this vase. I mean, it's just milk glass. But there, there's something really intriguing about that shape. Not enough for me to buy it, but enough for me to give it an honorable mention. It's Rudolph and Rudolph. I don't know who makes Rudolph. Oh, broken ear on the, oh, look it. They each have a broken ear on the opposite side. Like, what are the chances? All right, let's take a little gander through the dishes. I'm seeing this one single glass shade up here and I will pick these up if there are multiple, but I don't pick up singles. Kind of like the purple flowers too, but I'm gonna leave them. I'm going to leave them and see nothing nothing exciting today on the uh, plate shelves nope all right let's take a peek we are now kind of in the kitchen stuff that's heavy glass coastal bright interior it's like a does so that say succulent garden okay so it's like a planter for succulents it's really pretty i do kind of like it it's 3.99 i just don't know what i have room for but i love the color of this all right i'm such a sucker you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a bunch of my little fake succulents in it and put it on my porch here is some temptations with the little hallmark lady in there um this is interesting because it's got purple and blue and green it's like multicolor. there's three pieces for 5.99 that's a that's a pretty good price for temptation so i'm gonna go ahead and pick those up there are some silver edged Oh, or they say, they say anniversary. I do believe, yeah, their 25th anniversary. And these generally just don't have a lot of resale value, which is kind of sad. Ooh, I was just gonna bring this out and put it over here so it could display better, but ooh, look at those little snail feet. That's kind of a fun bowl. Let me check it. No chips. For $2.99, I think. I'm gonna pick that one up. And let's see what we can find. Not much on that shelf. One of those little rice pattern teapots. More 25th anniversary. This is a really nice pitcher. I bet. I bet that actually glows. That's like 1920s. It might be McKee glass. That's etches. Very, uh, 
indicative of McKee. It's $4.99. I gotta pick this one up. And then I spotted this little lovely. Can't tell if that's oh it is a crack. No, or is that the edge of the tape? No, it might be the edge of the tape. Just a little dirty. Yeah, it is. It's just the tape. Oh. Can't miss that though. It's broken. Poor little broken birdie. That's uh, Mexican blown glass. You can tell just the, very typical for them to use the cobalt blue. This is interesting. These little dishes here, I don't know. What'd you use that for? It's got a really mid-century look to it, but I don't think it is. It doesn't have the, the right feel. It's all about the feel, guys. It's all about the feel. This is a cool little piece. Hmm, $3.99. I forget who makes these. So I think I'm gonna leave it. But uh, if you guys think I made a mistake there, you let me know. I do like this piece too. It's really pretty. That had, I don't know if you can see, there's a little circular tag kind of down in there, but I don't know what it's gone, so we don't know what it said on it. But that is pretty. It's pulling me. It's pulling me. All right, I'll get it. Let's see what we got on this shell. Yeah. Some little bird tiles, pile in tiles. Leave those. See, this is uh, also probably, or oh, that's really dirty. I thought it was recycled glass. It's not, it's just super dirty glass. Ooh, really dirty. All right. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Super exciting, kind of a neat little pink glass pitcher made for Teleflora but I'm gonna leave that one. We got some salt and peppers and big platters. This is a kind of a neat bowl, amber glass with like a basket weave. Super big, wouldn't wanna ship that. And the thing when I say I wouldn't wanna ship that, it's not that I couldn't ship that. It's that the shipping on this is going to be somewhere around 15 to 20 dollars and customers do take that into consideration when they're deciding on pieces so if the shipping's 15 to 20 they're not going to want to pay more than 10 15 maybe 20 dollars more to get a piece like this and so the hassle factor is just not worth it to deal with it so that's that's why when i say i don't i don't want to ship it it's not that i couldn't ship it i can ship pretty much anything uh, it's, I just, it's not worth dealing with. I'm trying to figure out why. Is it like a whole tea set? Oh, it is. <laughs> like, why is that just taped to that? Because it's a whole tea set. So these are not my niche, but I do know there's money in these trains. These are $2.99 each. Look at that shell. There's definitely some money to be made on these. It's just not something that I deal with, so I will leave those. But, uh, I had to give them a peek. And let's see what else. This is kind of their mishmash shelves where they throw anything and everything. I do need to get some new hummingbird feeders up. I, I actually had a little hummingbird come to my door and try to uh, drink from my wreath that's hanging on the door because it's like these red holly berries on it. I felt so bad. It's like I gotta get my hummingbird feeders up. So I'm gonna get that done soon. Gonna get it done soon. Poor little hummingbirds. Okay, I am gonna look at the lamps but it would take something really extremely special to make me buy a lamp right now because 
I have lamps in storage right now that I have to deal with. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, but why am I drawn to stuff like that? That's the thing. It's like in my gut, I'm like, oh, look at that lamp. And it's like, no, Danny, no, 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 can't do it. I do kind of like this, this light bulb lamp thing here. I do actually really kind of like that, but don't know if it works because it needs batteries. All right, so I can pass it. I can pass it. All right, that's all that's over here. All right, we're gonna hit a little Christmas stuff here. See if there's anything exciting, like maybe a Starbucks bear dressed as a snowman. He's $3.99 though. I will leave him. He's not, they generally sell like $15 to $20. So not enough for me to you get totally crazy on him. Ooh, a little five dollar glass angel there. Yeah, lots of Christmas stockings. Got a nativity scene. Oh, I like the blingy reindeer. They are very blingy. But you know what? It's like at three ninety nine. I think I'd rather like just go shop at Hobby Lobby and find like some new things. I don't. They're not exciting enough for me to pay that. I know it sounds terrible. They will be for somebody. They will be for somebody. I don't need to pick those things up, but oh, here we go. Here we go. He plays rocking around the Christmas tree. He's a cuddle barn. So he's not the Jemmy one that's worth. Oh, oh, he wants to, he wants to. Oh, oh, he really wants to. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna like, oh, look at these bags of ornaments. Let's see. Oh, my God. oh, look at those little teeny tiny, teeny tiny ones. As I'm filming this, I'm getting ready to do a Christmas live sale, but I'm not sure if this video is gonna come out before or after I'm able to do that. So, I don't want to get you too fired up for things that'll be in the live sale, but know that I do a live sale every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And I sell lots of goodies that you see me pick up at the stores and I start everything at $1 so everybody can play and have some fun. Every once in a while they have some pretty good stuff up front so I'm getting I actually need some of these Ziploc baggies and the doggies are gonna get a little treat so that's it this is my cart it's what we ended up with not too much but some really good things including that print down there so let's go check out fun trip. Um, I ended up buying two little storage containers which saved my life because 
they didn't have uh, boxes and they didn't have paper. And one of the containers had this whole wad of tissue paper in it. So I was able to wrap all my stuff. Let me just take a peeky peek. There we go. Everything fit all nice and neat into these containers. It is dark out. Yes, there are my shadows. Um, not a bad trip. And now I'm off to go get dog food because the dogs would like to eat tonight. Imagine that. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to go home and kick my feet up. So you go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay, we're at Petco and I'm making a friend. No, I'm not going to bring him home. But he's so cute. He's so cute and he wants to play. Where are you hiding? Here you go. Ah, oh, I know these guys are little troublemakers though. So no ferrets for us. Oh, they're so cute though. Oh, they got the skinny pigs. I love the skinny pigs. I think I want one, but I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna get one yet. Oh, you are just, you're just a little drinking machine. Look at you go there. Oh, you are so super adorable. There's another one in there. It's munching. Can't quite see that one. It's hiding. It's hiding. I do like this one though. I like them a lot. And then, yeah, just like a, just a regular little, oh, that's a little shy guinea pig. This one's just thirsty, 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 thirsty. Oh my goodness. Did you get enough? Nope. Not yet. Still going.